It doesn't take 2020 vision. <laughs> The Clovis Unified School Board District is expected to decide on how they will operate for the upcoming school year. The decision will be made tonight during their board meeting. Adam Clements live in the remote breaking news center with a dog barking. Ace, pardon me. Are you hearing that beeping? By the way, that is my microwave. I'm cooking mac and cheese. Work from uh, home. Baby. It's a late dinner Let's tonight, go. huh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a second dinner, okay? Oh. Let, don't fool yourself, Tracy. Meteorologist Cheryl Scott's live now with our ABC7 AccuWeather forecast. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy day, especially coming from yesterday when our temps were in the 70s. Outside the window right now, we have some sunshine, but... Tomorrow, state leaders are expected to meet with schools and provide suggestions on how to plan for school this coming fall. Education reporter Wayne Carter tells us doctors are weighing into the conversation now with advice they think is important for schools to follow. Starting today, only three Minneapolis beaches. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but what we found was a lot of states don't even have good regimens to keep the data to make sure that, um, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> the bird just landed on his head. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. Dr. Davenport says any type of paper or cloth mask will work, just like this cloth mask I have, as long as you wear it like this. And it covers both your nose and your mouth. Back to you, Cody and Julia. <laughs> Wait. day is it oh it's wednesday i think um well what's beautiful about professor douglas's scenarios is that all of them are actually based on historical precedent all of them are things that we know could happen because they have happened before. We have seen electors uh, break faith before. Minister David Cameron was talking about, oh, I'm really sorry, that's my son Is arriving. Really? Sorry, I'm really embarrassed, sorry. sorry, sorry. Hold on one second. Oh, can I sorry. Two biscuits? Um, yes, you can have two biscuits. I'm really sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, okay, well, let's, we'll leave uh, Deborah Haynes in full flow there with uh, some family duties, but that's what happens. And Chris, I just wanted to bring my co-anchor in because, you know, <laughs> we're anchoring separately, so I've got a little help over here. I'm pretty surprised he hasn't barked once since was, we've been working from home. I so. was going to say, Filson has amazing. been such a good boy. Look at him there, smiling even for the camera, I think. Hey, hey Filson. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, you all. Let's hope it's not broken. I just went backwards. I don't know. If this comes up. Okay, so that's okay. Good morning. I have to reset myself because Ziggy just uh, shut the laptop and messed up my presentation for everyone. Does that work? There we go. Okay, thank you. Don't do that again. Automatically be applied on their next Kroger purchase. He's trying to shut it again, but you're gonna have to get down if you keep acting up like that. Your total was 15.50. You could donate that extra 50 cents right there to uh, a local food bank. Ziggy apparently doesn't like this story. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Meredith. See, the problem with this remote thing we got going on here is, oh whoa, my goodness, whoa. oh my goodness. Oh, oh, the Lynch, humanity. You okay? Lynn's, you all right? What the? You okay? We're back. We're, ba we're back. We're all. There was, uh, was there a major earthquake in your house? What happened? Wow. Did you feel it? Ted, tell us about that earthquake <laughs> that I just experienced. Here's the funny the thing is town. I don't really see anything, but the epicenter was right at Lindsay's living room. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> we need to look life. into that. I'm just a walking earthquake. <laughs> <You're clear. laughs> All right, top hour tracking. We're going to see if Beast moves at all this morning. Three, two, one. Well, that message was directed to any non compliant restaurants or bars across our state.
You chillin' beast? That's what I thought. We'll let you hear more from that news conference coming up in our next half hour. Jessica Alpern, Fox 4, in your corner. <laughs> no. All right, welcome back. I'm going to be back no. in studio on Monday, so no. I thought I'd bring my daughter Lena with us. No. Is to, no. no. Hey, can you say it's going to be sunny today? No, it's going to be hot? Okay, good work. <laughs> Lots of upper 80s and low 90s over the next 7 to 10 days. This didn't go as planned. Jackie. <laughs> Can you have the microphone? <laughs> Monica provided me with one of the best moments ever. What you guys don't know is I can see everything that's going on from those remotes from here in studio. So yesterday when Monica was doing her headlines, let's just say her co-workers jumped in. Here we go in three, two, watch out for a lift. Okay. Hey, stop. Let's try it again. In three, two, watch out. Watch out for a little light fog as you're heading out this morning. Oh my gosh. Try it again. Three, two. <laughs> now, I put that on social media yesterday, Hilarious. and on Twitter, it had more than 20,000 views. And, and Monica, just how do you Stop. do it? How do you keep Tessa, concentrating? Tessa, sit. Sit. Can you see her right now? This is the one that was making all the noise yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to be on TV. Oh, my That's gosh. All. She's gone now. She's going to try to bring me a Frisbee. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, but you know, there were so many people so running that were saying, maybe put her in another room. And I was like, if she's in another room, all you'll do is hear her whining because she wants to get in here. It's yeah. I'm so glad you all enjoyed right. it. It was hilarious. Well, let her stay. We need more videos for oh social media. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right down to, to a sort of local government level. And in that case, do we say, well, um, and, and we're improving our systems as a result? Yes, so that's exactly, so we're hoping so. And it's a learning process. So now we're moving to this new approach of of these, um, you know, lock, local lockdowns. It's part of the learning process to really understand how this is happening. Now, quite honestly, this should have happened a long time ago, in my opinion. But here we are in this situation. And so, you know, how can we improve it for the inevitable lockdowns which might come further down the road. We've looked, seen the statistics to say saying the other hotspots of concern might be in, in Barnsley and in Bradford. And so how can we make sure that they're getting the right data now so we don't have this problem again? What's your daughter called? She's called Scarlett. Scarlett, I think it looks better on the lower shelf. <laughs> And it's a lovely unicorn. It's a lovely <laughs> unicorn. Okay, so uh, obviously, um, and do stop me if you need to crack on. Do do I tell know, us. I'm good. I'm good. What's his name? My name is Christian. What's his name? His name's Christian. Christian. Yes. I'm just deciding where it can go. Mummy wants it to go. Oh right, where does Mummy want, want it to go? I think just on that shelf is great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is the most informative interview I've done all day. Um, 